Hi friends, this is Dr. B.P. Alias, Dr. Bapuji Pulipu. So now we are going to take Vector Calculus. Vector Calculus is a very huge subject and this is nothing but called as a multivariable calculus because this is deal with vectors, partial differentiation, integration. So once if there comes partial differentiation, integration means what engineering field very useful in hydromagnetic field, particularly in fluid dynamics. Vector everywhere, if you go in fluid dynamics particularly, it is very very useful in particular how the flow rate, flow rate, then flux, how much flux. So everything deals with vector only conservation of mass, conservation of movements, conservation of energy, all they will defend from using different vectors only. It is very 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 important chapter, vector in engineering field. Now, there normally they we in engineering field we in mathematically we use gradient divergence curve. So actually physical meaning of the what are the divergent gradient divergence curl. If you see the gradient means what? This is the measure of the rate of the direction change in the scalar field. I say measure of a rate of direction change. Gradient is what? Surface normal. That I will explain when doing the problem. I will give the examples. Then divergence is what actually spread off. Force how much it spread off. If you take particular point from the point how it is. That point is called source and so less than. Suppose if you open the tap from the tap you see water will come flow very highly this is called source in sink you see actually it's going down very slowly it's called sink actually when divergence is greater than means what more force inflow rate this is inflow rate Inflow rate is less than external flow rate means what divergence is dive then greater than zero. That is called source, the point is called source. Suppose inflow rate, internal flow rate is equal to the external flow rate. This is called divergence zero. Inflow rate is internal flow rate is less than external flow rate means what? So maybe inside we go too much force, but coming out is what very less than force. That is what divergence is less than zero. This if you see go home and see open your tap from the tap is coming the water is what source that is called too much of divergence that time is greater than zero positive. Then if the sink this is the plate of the sink you see there is no moment flatly the water will stay that is divergence zero. From the hose going down the water you know that is called sink part that is what very less maybe high is less the water may be top of the holes is very low, high, but going down is what may be low. It is called divergence less than zero. Next part is curl. Very, very, very important. This is a curl means what? About one point, the rotational flow, force a rotational flow about the particular point in a vector field. That is best example is what recently in whole Tamil Nadu very sad actually. We have suffered a lot in Chennai, Varda Puyal. Then in Tirichi that side actually, south side, Gaja Puyal because of rotational force. It's what cyclones will be comes. Actually in weather conditions, if you want to see, they will see a cyclone, how much force it will come. It's what they will see only currently they will calculate how much rotational force it will be. Then they decided, okay, today is very dangerous, go to sea for catching the fish like this, they will announce. 
so everything is what depends on mass only gradient gradient is a normal force that i will tell you divergence is what i say spread off force is spread off particular point then curl is what rotational force then mathematically we deal don't worry <coughs> how to do this is the physical meaning of the gradient divergence and curl thank you for watching our video and kindly subscribe and spread to your all first year friends and be part of the our service bye thank you